Well, from high school, I didn't actually think I would come to uni. That really wasn't something on the cards for me. Um, I went to TAFE first and I did a certificate three in youth work. Um, did a little bit of work with that and then decided that I might want to do primary teaching. So I applied for a few unis, um, got into Wollongong and thought, I got into early years and I thought, oh, you know, I'll do it for a year and see how it goes. But I um, really liked it, so I stayed in, stayed in the early years. My first year at UAW, I'd probably say it was probably, it was hard. You know, honestly, it was really hard. I always think, like I always say that first year is the hardest year. Um, you know, going into a classroom for the first time, I was quite lucky. I had a, a girl that I knew, so I had someone there to make me feel a little bit more confident. Um, I knew I had had that extra year compared to kind of most people in my course where I'd done, you know, f um, further study. But yeah, hard. <laughs> Uni in my first year was hard because just the change, um, the change of experience from school, from TAFE to uni, it's probably the biggest thing. Trying to organise your time, you know, you don't realise how many things you have to juggle. Um, meeting our tutor for the first time, I think you want to make a good impression. <laughs> I felt like, you know, you wanted to be like sitting up straight and, you know, letting them know that you're interested in what they're saying. That was always the thing for me. Um, but yeah, I remember one of our other teachers came in and she was talking to us about, about you know, uni and your expectations and I actually found that quite intimidating. It was kind of like, ooh, like I could have gone with that a bit more gently. You know, that was a bit much for like our first day. Uh, so I'm originally from a regional area, um, a little town called Tumut um, and for me coming to Wollongong was a big move um, and a big decision but I'd had a brother that had come through UAW prior to me. Um, which I guess gave me a bit of an insight into what uni was like and um, what particularly Wollongong and UAW had to offer. Um, but I guess another factor was the fact that I could do the double degree in psychology and commerce. Um, being able to combine the two degrees into one study was um, a factor in my decision as well. Um, but I guess just looking at the reputation of the university, what they have to offer, the you know, diversity that, that is in such a small place, but um, I guess that was a factor that really helped me decide to come down here. Uh, so my experience with studying and learning in first year was, um, I guess you'd call it a learning curve, it was very interesting to um, come straight from high school into university and see the difference between independent learning that happens at university versus being sort of spoon fed as you are in um, high school. So that was a big change, being able to take on the responsibility for your learning and knowing that um, the lecturers and tutors aren't just going to give you the information you need and the answers that you want and it's, it's actually about engaging with the material so that was a big change that I think both myself and a lot of my peers found interesting. Um, it's a much, it's a learning style that I prefer um, but that was sort of the initial thing. Another thing I guess was time management. It was so different to you know going to school nine till three and coming home and that's the end of your day with a little bit of homework. Being able to manage your timetable, choosing classes, um, you know, getting your readings done, attending the lectures, getting your own notes made, trying to fit all of that into the hours of a day was probably the biggest challenge starting at first year. Um, so learning how to be more efficient with my time was probably the, a big thing starting at first year. Um, another thing I guess was coming from a small rural area to a, a city like Wollongong with um, not knowing many people. Um, so it was important to get out and sort of you know, let go of your inhibitions and your um, prejudices and sort of get to know people and make friends. And I think that's something that's really important in first year to get those connections um, and learn that, you know, you're in the same situation as so many other students. And just by engaging in a conversation with others, you really do learn that, um, you know, you're not alone. There's other people feeling these things, you know, the nervousness of starting out at, at a university and, you know, being away from home and that kind of thing. So when I came from Iran to Australia, I thought, uh, at the beginning, I thought that, okay, I can get adopted with everything, so I can go to university as usual. I didn't think, think about getting homesick or any cultural shock that I experienced. So I thought that everything will be okay. But when I came here, um, it was a lot of, I mean, although I came here with my parents, 
for the first month they stay with me. But I told them I want to be back to Iran. I don't want to stay here. I think that there are a lot of differences between our society because I thought that we are very intimate. But here there is a social distance between people and I don't like it. I want to be back to my home country. But after the orientation and starting my master degree, I became familiar with different students from different cultures. I couldn't believe that from one from Latin America, one from Indonesia, different continents. <laughs> but I got, uh, I became friends with them and that was a lovely experience. My mom did everything for me at my home country, even for ironing my uh, clothes, everything, although at this age. <laughs> But when I became independent, I had to do everything about household chores or about anything, any difficulties that you experience. And I told myself, OK, I shouldn't give up. In any stages, I shouldn't give up. I have to continue. I think that the lectures can help me by understanding both the emotional and the academic status of students. I don't want to say that just international students, but international students experience a lot of problems. Uh, because I, if I consider I live in my home country, I'm near my family, I have some support, but here there is no support, just my friends. And uh, the, everything, the life is different here. So. I really need my lectures to understand my emotional status.